In our science classroom, we dedicate one day where we have 90 minutes where we just concentrate on computer science curriculum. We have our students log on to Scratch and they work on either a game or a puzzle. Some of our students are creating animations. Our kids, they do Fortnite and Minecraft, and they are bringing elements that they know from that game, and they're seeing if they can build it in our Scratch program. It's really similar to their regular physical science process, where they follow the uh, scientific method of they want this, their character, their sprite, to be able to do something, to be able to move make their game do something that no one else's game can do. But in order to do that, they have to do trial and error. Well, what if I put this block in there, and what's, what's that gonna make it do? Okay, that, that may it do something different than it was doing, but now it's not doing exactly what I want it to do. How can I tweak that and adjust that to get my end result? tell them that it's very fun to do and you have to make sure in the process that you have everything timing and how they move like the characters and stuff. My project is a choice game so basically you're traveling to different places so whenever you hover over something it'll take you to a certain place. The main character sprite is a dinosaur. He's got a whole bunch of coding on him. I have written this code to tell the dinosaur what to do. Yesterday we had a presentation for the parents and they could come into our classroom and we could show them about our sprite coding. Me and my friend, his name is Eli, we were doing a PowerPoint about the seven wonders of the world. Instead of doing a PowerPoint, we changed it. We are doing it on Scratch. We have a sprite that if you click it, it will send you to the next page or the PowerPoint would be the next slide. We have one to go to the slide before and then one to restart it. All the students in the class really look forward to Tuesdays, which is the day we do Scratch. I didn't know what Scratch was when he first introduced it to me, but he just told us about it and I was like, oh yeah, that'll be fun, and it, and it is really fun. There's a bunch of different sprites you can use and characters and a lot of different backgrounds you can choose and you can just do a, whole, a lot of different things. 